In this video, we're gonna be talking about the best winter running shoes. I'm gonna be giving you my three top picks for the shoes that you should be wearing this winter. What's up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and when I'm not reviewing shoes or doing stupid running challenges, I'm actually a running coach based here in the UK. And like I said at the open, we're gonna be talking about winter running shoes. I've got sort of three top picks if you're looking to pick up a brand new pair of winter running shoes. So I like a good winter running shoe. Now, what do you mean by that, Fordy? Well, I like a shoe that can give me some protection against some of the elements because uh, I'm out running at lunchtime, it's usually wet because it's here in the UK, but also I'm out coaching late at night um, so, you know, those colder nights, those wet nights, obviously here in the UK. So I, I need a shoe that can give me some protection uh, from some of the elements. But I appreciate that um, these shoes aren't for everybody. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that today in terms of do you or don't you need a, a sort of uh, weatherized running shoe, but also give you sort of three top picks for, yeah, for weatherized running shoes. Right, so before we get into the three top picks, um, it, this is a, an interesting subject because I've done a lot of videos uh, in the past about like my winter running shoes. I usually pick one up uh, and usually in the comments people say, well, I don't buy a winter running shoe because, you know, my feet are going to get wet, blah, 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 and which I get that. And that's why I wanted to sort of add this bit in at the start of the video. So my question to you is, do you buy a specific winter running shoe or do you literally take the shoes you've had in the summer and ruin them through the winter? Now, me personally, like I said, I like a, a weatherized running shoe. I don't want a waterproof running shoe, but I like a weatherized running shoe that gives me a little bit of protection uh, versus say, let's say my sort of normal running shoes. So I look for a daily trainer that's got some of that Gore-Tex element to it, some of that um, reflectiveness added to it as well. So um, that helps in terms of safety. Now I'm not saying the running shoe with a bit of reflective element to it is gonna save your life, but I think anything um, that you can add to your sort of clothing and get up for your winter running kit uh, will help, I think, be seen while you're out there running late at night or early in the morning. But yeah, so I look for a, for a running shoe with those elements to it. I, like, I look for a shoe with a good outsole as well because I want something that's gonna obviously hold on when it is a little bit icy, a little bit slippery, a little bit greasy and that kind of thing. But more importantly, what do you think about this? Do you just, like, as I said, ruin your old shoes or do you buy a, a new pair of shoes that's on sale and then ruin them over the winter? How do you do it? What do you do? with regards to winter. Okay, so I'm now gonna to talk to you about the three top picks for me this winter. So I reached out to the guys at Start Fitness and they're sponsoring this video. So get over to startfitness.co.uk and use the code 40 runs and you're gonna get 10% off. You're welcome. So I said to the guys, give me three running shoes, three winter running shoes, include a stability shoe in there as well because I obviously wanna incorporate as many people as I can. And this is what they came up with. Okay, first up, we've got the Cumulus 25, the GTX version. We've got the Brooks Ghost 15 GTX, and we've got the Kayano 30 Light Show. So we've got there sort of three of the best picks in terms of um, daily trainers out there. So look, we've got here the normal version of the Ghost 15 as an example. And actually, I've got the Cumulus as well, which is one of my favorite daily trainers of the year. I absolutely destroyed these, as you can see. We've got the Ghost, and I've actually, yeah, I've even got the, the Kayano 30, the, the non-light show version. And it's quite interesting to see the differences between these and the GTX versions. So look, here's the Brooks. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna come out in the camera, but there's the Brooks versus the sort of non-GTX version. The Cumulus, I mean, they all look very similar, right? But you can see the the different elements on them, and we'll go through them in just a second. And then you've got the Kayano as well. Right, so let's just run through the stats and features of what's going on here. So this is 150 pounds on the Start Fitness website. Um, you've got Fly Foam Blast Plus in here. You've got obviously the Gore-Tex elements to the shoes. So that's been added to the upper to keep some of that, well, some of that water out. Uh, you've got Aha Plus uh, on the outsole. You've got a Jacquard mesh. The shoe's weighing 10.65 ounces. That's uh, versus 10.2 ounces for the usual non-Gore-Tex uh, shoe. It fits through to size. Uh, they've helped improve the vis uh, visibility in low light with the upper as well, apparently by 75%. It's, you know, a typical cumulus. It fits well, it rides well. It's brilliant in terms of uh, as a daily trainer. I really, really like this shoe. Uh, like I said about the original version. And yeah, it's 150 pounds. Uh, the other version you could pick up for 99 pounds and we're gonna come on to that in just a bit. Okay, so then we've got the Brooks GTX, the 15 uh, version of the Ghost, a very popular Ghost. Uh, again, we've got GTX, so this is a Gore-Tex uh, shoe. So this has got some of that Gore-Tex material into the upper to, again, to keep some of that 
they say weather out. We've got an engineered mesh DNA loft version two. It's 11.65 ounces versus 10.75 for the non GTX version. That's worth knowing. We've got a blown rubber out. So apologies, I've not cleaned these ones. Um, fits true to size. It's Brooks. Uh, you've got loads of different uh, width options with the shoe as well. And yeah, it's a Brooks Ghost. And then finally, at the top of the tree, you've got the 180 pound, uh, which has got a load of two on it. Uh, we've got the Light Show uh, Kayano. So this has got reflective elements to it, right? You see that in the overlays? And that's what the Light Show version does. Uh, there's no Gore-Tex material here. So this is not a weatherized shoe. This is purely a shoe that the, um, it's got the reflective elements. So that's where this shoe's uh, positioned. And they do this across uh, all the shoes. It's not just a Kayano, the Kayano is an example, like I said, because I wanted to give a stability shoe. So we've got Flight Phone Blast Plus in the shoe. We've got the 4D guidance system, fits true to size, but like I said, it's 180 pounds. Uh, weight is 11.7 ounces, and uh, that's versus 11.45 ounces for the non light show version. Okay, in terms of outsoles, this has got AHA Plus, uh, and that's got AHA Plus. Uh, the Brooks has got the blown rubber. I would say straight away, the Brooks has got the better outsole in terms of um, stickiness. Just performs better in those greasy conditions. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so my favorite shoe out of this collection is the Cumulus 25. Uh, I absolutely love the Cumulus. Um, I really like what they've done with it with the Pure Gel, the Flight Phone Blast Plus. It feels like a good old fashioned daily trainer. I think it looks awesome in this black colorway. Uh, the the Gore-Tex upper does work. Uh, I was uh, running along in London the other day and it was absolutely hammering it down. And I'm not saying my foot stayed dry, but I definitely probably got less wet than I would do if I was in a normal shoe. Like I said, the outside was probably the only thing that lets it down. The AHA Plus definitely doesn't hang on as well as the Brooks shoe, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely fine. It's just noticeable versus the Brooks. But I like the wide platform of the shoe. And it, again, yeah, it just performs well as a daily trainer. It fits great. It's, I don't know whether it is warmer on the inside, but it just feels really nice and like velvety and comfortable on the inside. There's enough foam around the heel. It's just, yeah, it's just very, very comfortable and does exactly what you want from a daily trainer. Now there's nothing wrong with the Brooks Ghost 15. The Brooks Ghost 15 is a fantastic shoe. Uh, as we know, Brooks Ghosts are amazing, but it does have a 12 mil drop. Uh, so that's gonna affect some people. And I think the Cumulus just nicks it because the Flight Phone Blast Plus does sort of perform better. Yeah, it does perform better than the DNA Loft uh, version two. The DNA Loft version two is an improvement versus previous shoes, but it is still firm. Um, and that kind of sets it apart versus the, the, the Flight Phone Blast Plus, which is a lot softer and a lot more responsive. But this is a good old fashioned daily trainer from Brooks. It's gonna do exactly what you'd expect, right? It's a Brooks Ghost. Um, it's not the most exciting looking thing, although I think this colorway looks banging, but it is a very good option for winter running it really is the gtx works well the gore-tex i mean works well again like the um cumulus it keeps some of those bits of water out you know those splashes when you're going through the puddles or or it's been raining and, and you're getting some of that water chucked up it does keep some of that out which is good news and that's what you want it's comfortable plenty of foam around the hill again it's a brooks go so it is comfortable and it's going to perform as you'd expect. Now at the top of the tree, you've got the Kayano. Now this is a monster of a stability shoe. Me personally, my favorite stability shoe is the ASICS GT 2012. It's just a little bit less stability than this. And they do the light show in all the different ASICS shoes. So if the Kayano is a bit strong for you in terms of um, the stability in it, then have a look at the GT 2012. But I love the reflective elements in there. And, and the thing is with this um, light show, it doesn't have that GTX added to it. So it's not you don't see the weight increase as much, which is good news. Um, you've got obviously the visibility elements to it. So it's a good sort of halfway house between the normal Kayano and let's say going for something with that Gore-Tex or that weatherized upper in it. So I do like the light show shoes from ASICS. Now, as I said, whether the Kayano's for you, it might not be, but have a look at these if you're looking for something that stands out at night. So out of those three shoes, for me personally, I would go with the Cumulus 25. Um, it just works for me. The Flight Foam Blast Plus, I think it's just a better midsole than what we've got uh, here on the DNA uh, Loft uh, version two. It just feels a little bit more, well, it's got a little more giddy up, but they're two very good examples. And I think it does make me wonder 
this. Do you spend £150, or you're going to get it cheaper at Start Fitness, but do you spend £150 and get in a specific weather eye shoe, or do you buy like the non weather eye shoe for like well under £100 and just ruin them through the winter? And this is the thing, right? For me personally, and I think it's personal choice, I would go with the weather eye shoes because, like I said at the start, you know, I'm coaching and I'm running around um, late at night and things like that. I want something that's got some weather eye elements to it. But do you save some money and go for the non-GTX versions, which are a bit lighter, a bit more breathable? Yeah, it's a funny one, isn't it? But I do think it comes down to personal choice. So like I said, let me know in the comments, what are you going to do? I do think the, the light show shoes from Asics are a good shot, that sort of middle ground. Uh, they've got those reflective elements. So they've got a bit of the visibility you get on these shoes, like with the Brooks, you know, you've got that nice... Uh, bit of silver there reflectiveness but you get that but you don't get the sort of gtx upper so you don't get the warmth you don't get the yeah that extra sort of element to it so it's sort of that halfway ground so i think that's also something to consider although i appreciate they're quite expensive but there's nothing to stop you picking up last year's models right on start fitness for example yeah so it's a funny one i don't know i don't it, again this is personal choice do you do you pick up a puma velocity nitro 2 at start fitness for like i don't know what they are at the moment like 50 60 quid and then just ruin them through the winter or do you pick up the Gore-Tex version. Let me know in the comments which way you're going to go, but for me, top pick for sort of winter running shoes this year, I'm going to be rocking out these. Um, I'll probably be doing a lot of coaching in these because, well, I just like them as well. And I think the colorway is just banging, like I said. But yeah, I think, you know, they're, they're three good shoes. The Kayano's a good shoe as well. Uh, the GT2012 uh, is my favorite stability shoe. But I don't know, this, there's something about this Cumulus with the, the Flight Phone Blast um, it, uh, Plus in the middle. It just works really well for me. So, so, yes, that's my top pick for winter running shoe this year. Um, but I thought, as like I said, I think the, the Brooks is a good shout, the Light Show is a good shout, but I'm more interested to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Right, okay, people, that's it from me. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Again, thanks very much to Start Fitness for sponsoring this video. Get over to startfitness.co.uk and use the code 40runs. But, yes, that's it. I'll catch you later.